Well, hello and welcome to this episode of the Monday Minute. My name is Ken Freeman, and today my question is this. Who is Ken Freeman? The problem is that today's pregnancy center director has come on board probably within the last three years, and most likely she doesn't know Ken Freeman personally. As the story goes, she most likely has been trained by her affiliate organizations, the one that her center has been associated with, and in most cases this would mean either CareNet or Heartbeat International. Outside of the center's immediate sphere of influence, perhaps is relatively limited unless it is with groups that they have met through their affiliation with their national organizations, other groups like NIFLA, Aaron, Rama International, and others. But here's the rest of the story, because they don't have a face-to-face relationship with Ken Freeman. Then there is another problem. When they get an email from Monday Minute, they don't know who it's from. They are less likely to open the mail when I send it, and even if they read about the subject, they are less likely to actually click to open it. That's why I want to take a few minutes to simply introduce myself to you, today's center director. Ken Freeman is an ordained minister, not the Baptist evangelist from San Antonio, but the one from Garland, Texas, a suburb of Dallas. I am the author of two books, Healing the Hurts of Abortion and Free Me to Live. These have helped pioneer and establish the after-abortion recovery movement since 1988, equipping over 2,500 of the very first round of crisis pregnancy center directors with skills to offer after abortion recovery when no one else was doing that. Since 1994, when the first website was created, I have focused all of my efforts in trying to use this medium to reach the masses of unplanned pregnancy, the after abortion couple, the woman or the man, but also to connect with and serve you, the local pregnancy center. Today, the ministry network consists of 30 websites and five blogs, two weekly webcast and podcast aimed at before the abortion, intervening at the earliest possible moment through instant referrals to centers across the United States and Canada, and other sites then provide help with the pregnancy than those that have been hurt by the abortion, as well as those that are seeking to learn about having a safe and healthy pregnancy or adoption. What you don't know about me is that I have been a pioneer in a number of areas that are today considered de facto standards within the modern pregnancy center. In 1984, I created the first pregnancy center in the state of Texas to locate next door to an abortion center. And you need to know that in that center, we had 26 volunteers, over 2,000 square feet of space, and we saved some 1,300 babies from next door in a three-year period. We were the first center to utilize ultrasound sonography and an OBGYN and nurses as part of our staff. When Linda Cochran was writing Women in Rama in 1987, I was going around the country via syndicated radio talking about after abortions hurt. I appeared on PTL in January of 1988 where 18,000 women requested a tape that I offered on that show called Overcoming Abortions Aftermath. And by that summer, and after 6,000 phone calls from those same women asking for help, I wrote Healing the Hurts of Abortion and conducted our very first support group in Dallas, Texas in October of 1988. The book Healing the Hurts of Abortion was the first book to suggest a memorial service and the use of practical object lessons so that the recovery process was more experiential than just looking at what someone else may have felt in the Bible. And secondly, we were the only course that was focused on going to the root of the problem, not looking at abortion as the main problem. And it was one of the first books to allow the woman to grieve the loss of her missing baby. And today, that grief loss memorial service is a standard in most recovery courses. In 1987, West 57th Street, the television show, came to Dallas and did an expose show called Fake Bogus Clinics. And our center was, of course, targeted and blasted with the deceptive program. Thus, we were kicked out of our space, lost our 26 volunteers, 
and 17 churches that were supporting us dropped us overnight. In 1993, after watching the radio network grow from just that one program in Dallas to over 80 markets over those uh, years, 1986 through 1993, an anonymous six-figure gift allowed us to purchase and establish one of the very first safe houses for women and couples to seek recovery in the setting of a residential retreat center. And from the 1989 time frame to 1997, I was a guest speaker exhibitor at the National Office of Post-Abortion Reconciliation and Recovery within the Catholic community in Milwaukee. And it was at this meeting that I conducted every year a memorial service for attendees. And every year, over 45 aborted women were grieved by their mothers and fathers in attendance. Now, over the years, I have dedicated my time, my experience, and my skill to the production of internet sites to serve a long list of pregnancy centers uh, located in Middletown, Connecticut, New York City, Laurel, Maryland, Corpus Christi, San Diego, California, uh, Orlando, Florida, Niagara Falls. In fact, we have helped centers in Tennessee, Oklahoma, Texas, Alabama, New York, Illinois, Ohio, Maryland, Connecticut, California, Washington, and Nebraska with either a website design, hosting, or the provision of our 200-screen portal called the Pregnancy Knowledge Base. Since 1997, professionally, I have operated a commercial web design, maintenance, and hosting company as my tent-making enterprise so I would not be a burden to the ministry. And over these past 10 years, our business has created over 280 commercial websites, ranging from those small one- or two-page websites, bed-and-breakfast websites, small churches, crisis pregnancy centers, but also extreme e-commerce retail sites, medical sites, radio stations, streaming audio and video, and state organizations and chambers of commerce. And many of my clients have been my clients for all of those 10 years. Since 2006, I, since two years ago, I established a weekly webcast called The Monday Minute dedicated to you, the Pregnancy Center Director, and effectively in 2008 began offering professional coaching to pregnancy centers seeking funding, management, advertising, or web support. And then today, I'm an ordained minister and pastor of Last Harvest Fellowship, where more than 24,000 visit the website, more than 12,500 subscribe to the weekly Bible study webcast. And I happen to also be married to my wife, Ann Freeman, since 1988. So this year, we celebrated 40 years of marriage. We have three children and four grandchildren, and in 2007, we adopted our grandson, Isaiah Freeman, who today is eight years old, and today we are involved in soccer, basketball, softball, the water park, and, of course, PTA. And this year, I happen to be the president of Golden Meadows Elementary School PTA. So now that you know a little more about me, perhaps when you get my email from monday-minute.com or from lastharvest.org, you may be inclined to click to get the rest of the story. I really hope so. Now, take a moment to visit some of the websites that I've listed here and be sure to click to download a transcript of today's message so that you can share this information with someone you know. And together, we are going to keep on doing the good work that we're doing because the other side just can't stand it. Thanks for listening to the Monday Minute, and let's meet again next week. And when I send you that email, I hope that you'll open it and click through for the rest of the story. Thanks for listening.